It's a disease which devastates the lives of millions of Africans. Sleeping sickness was close to eradication in the 1960s, but has been resurgent in recent years. For Uganda, the challenge is massive, with both the acute and chronic forms of the disease endemic in much of the country. That's why experts from the University of Edinburgh's Global Health Academy are working in partnership with Makeri University in Kampala to study a disease which threatens 11 million Ugandans. I've been working in Uganda um, for about 20 years now since I've undertaken my PhD work um, in Uganda. And um, we have a number of PhD students ongoing who I supervise now in Uganda, both registered at the University of Edinburgh and at the University of Makerere that share their experiences um, in the field. And the, the biggest problem really for human sleeping sickness is the stigma that it's attached to this neglected infectious disease at community level. And that's a challenge that we have to overcome. One of the Global Academy students is Christina Mongi, who is herself Ugandan. Sleeping sickness has got a huge, huge burden on the population of my country. I have seen people who have um, fallen victims and they do not know that they, you know, that they are suffering from the disease. So they go to the health centre and uh, they are being treated for the wrong um, ailment for malaria because often the symptoms are very similar to, to sleeping sickness. So they often go there to the health centre to get treatment for, for malaria. That's where the unique approach of the Global Health Academy comes into its own by bringing together experts from a number of academic disciplines. A sleeping sickness is a zoonotic disease, that is one which affects both humans and animals. Both vets and doctors from Edinburgh are working in partnership with Ugandan colleagues, a practical approach which many believe will increasingly become the norm for how universities operate. Universities have to transform from being ivory tower, what we call ivory tower uh, universities, into development universities. And a development university is focused on solving a problem in society and not simply generating knowledge and innovations. At the moment we're working with various donors to actually eliminate um, human sleeping sickness in Uganda. We have the tools, we have the wherewithal and we have the commitment um, from the staff and the students both in Edinburgh and at McCary and we're putting together, we've put together a public-private partnership in order to eradicate the disease from Uganda. The work into sleeping sickness is just one example of the world-leading research being done at Edinburgh's Global Health Academy, which incorporates many other fields of study. More details on how to apply for postgraduate taught MSc and PhD courses, which can be done both on campus and via distance learning, can be found on the website. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.